All right. Hi, everyone. This is Oscar from Underdog. Just a small tip today. I want to talk to you about what is the fundamental frequency of a sound and what are the harmonics of a sound. It's a little bit of sound physics. Um, it's a little bit of a technical sidestep when you're trying to learn music because it's uh, something that you... Uh, will come up against when you're trying to do trying to do problem solving and trying to make some intelligent decisions about um, the sound design of your sounds. So um, it'll just be good to know what is a fundamental frequency and what is a harmonic. Okay, so I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna jump into Ableton, and I want to show you on the first channel here this recording. It just looks like a black bar, but when you zoom in close enough, it's a saw. So no. I want to show you the first one here on this this sine wave. All right, so this is a sine wave because it's like um, it just goes like a perfectly circular wave up down up down up down, and it does this 440 times per second. Hertz just means times per second, okay? And the hertz, how how fast a um, uh, the air vibrates determines if we perceive it as a high note or a low note. That's also another way of saying that would be to say that we perceive it as a high pitch or a low pitch. So this particular um, this particular sine wave vibrates at 440 times per second, also mentioned as 440 hertz, and it sounds like this. Okay, just, just a stable tone, kind of like a test tone, right? Now, this... You can see this visually reflected in this um, in this uh, effect down here called the spectrum analyzer. And so let's see what it looks like. When I when I hover my uh, tooltip over it, you can see in the bottom left corner that it says that it's approximately 440 hertz. There we go. And there's only one frequency playing exactly this frequency. If there were other frequencies playing at the same time, you would see them showing up as different uh, peaks over here. And in fact, I can simulate that. If I tell a synthesizer to play a sine wave, I've done that with Ableton's operator here, and I'm just going to hit some keys on the keyboard, right? And you'll see on this spectrum here how... Um, first, let, let, me, let me just hit any key. So this is one key. There we go. And if I play multiple keys at the same time, they show up as multiple peaks. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, um, you'll notice that these, um, yeah, any frequency that is playing at any given moment shows up on this spectrograph. Okay, great. That's uh, simple and great. However, sine wave is a unique sound in nature that doesn't actually exist anywhere else because there are no other waves that only consist of one frequency um, that's playing at one particular moment in time. What does that mean? Well, let me show you a different shape of a wave called a saw wave. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Zoom. So where the sine wave is perfectly circular, the saw wave, it kind of cuts off drastically like a saw, right? pretty simple but what does that look like if that's also vibrating at 440 times per second you would imagine on a spectrograph it should probably also show up as um, just a peak at 440 right however we get the following look at this look at this a whole bunch of these a whole bunch of frequency peaks um, i'm not going to get into the physical reason why that happens but um, it's maybe just really quickly, you can imagine like a guitar string that's vibrating and it vibrates along its full length, but it also vibrates. It'll create a resonant point in the middle where it creates actually two lengths um, dissecting it that vibrate twice as fast and then two lengths dissecting that that vibrate twice as fast and so on and so on until you get... Um, a whole series of frequencies actually that sort of stack on top of each other in the same way that you see this um, this wave uh, multiplying itself. So what we get is a series of frequencies almost into infinity, let's say, that starts on 440. So 
we would call this tone, we would, if we had to choose on a piano what note it was, we would still say it corresponds with the note that's based at 440 hertz. It's playing the same notes as the sine wave. So. Right? So how do we know that it's the note of 440 hertz? Well, let me turn that down a little bit for you. We do that. We know it because we are we are very sensitive to the leftmost uh, frequency peak, and we call that mo that leftmost frequency peak, which is the lowest frequency in this series. We call that the fundamental. We call that the fundamental frequency, and our ears are super sensitive to that one because that's the one that we say we perceive that as the actual pitch of the sound, and all the other uh, peaks, which we then call the harmonics are what our ear uses to determine the character of the sound. So the way that the harmonics are shaped will tell our ears how we perceive the sound, okay? So um, let me show you this saw synth, this saw wave if I play it on a synthesizer as well. So you see these, these um, harmonics, they move along with the uh, with the fundamental and let me go down a few octaves so as they it all kind of moves as a block and so we continue to identify this as one particular sound which is the sound of a saw wave now our ears are very sensitive to what uh harmonic sound like so for instance you could have a bass sound that sounds like this like that so on the spectrum, that bass sound, we'll identify it as being a C, which is like about 64, 65 hertz there. If we had to like sing it, let's say, that's the, that's the frequency that we would, that we would um, identify it as. But all that cool wavy sound of it, that's all the harmonics. So the fundamental frequency and the harmonics are, are um, two different concepts. And so if you wanted something to sound darker, you would probably cut away some of the harmonics. Like with a filter, you would do something like this. Leaving just the fundamental. You could do the opposite, make it lighter and take away the, the fundamental and just leave some of the harmonics. So like this, you can shape your sound, making a decision based on how much of the harmonics or how much of the fundamental you want. And it, it, it's not only for synthetic sounds, it's also for acoustic sounds. For instance, a piano. Now here it gets a little bit com more complicated because this piano is playing multiple keys at the same time. So what you're seeing is the fundamental and the harmonics of several notes at the same time all sort of blending and in an acoustic instruments acoustic instruments tend to have a lot of harmonics and very subtle shapes of harmonics that our ears are very attuned to so we really identify this as an, an organic and, and uh, an acoustic sound rather than a synthesized sound so um so yeah, so don't worry that it looked like a mess there, but it's uh, the 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 principle still applies. Now voices also have this, by the way, and I did a little recording of my own voice, so you'll have to forgive me for how silly this is, but I'm going to just play a recording of my own voice, and I want you to check out this spectrum. The human voice as another example, and you can notice the fundamental when I hold a tone. Ah. I'm not much of a singer, but uh, but you get the point there. So when you see here, uh, you see that this is the pitch and the rest is the overtones or the harmonics. Sometimes people say overtones as well, but uh, harmonics is probably the more correct word for that one. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you today. I just wanted you to know what is the fundamental frequency and what are the harmonics, uh, because that becomes l relevant later on when you want to shape the character of a sound. So you then finally decide to prioritize or deprioritize some of these frequencies. Okay, uh, I'm going to zoom back into my other screen here and I'm just going to say goodbye and thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's quick little tip and uh, catch you in one of our classes. All right. 
check it out. Peace.